Well, Brad Barrett, thanks for joining me. Um, one game and one win so far in the RBS Six Nations. There'll be 23 green shirts aiming to stop a second win at the weekend. How much are you looking forward to it, first of all? Yeah, I think immensely excited. I think uh, the thought of playing um, in Dublin is a, a great experience for us. And uh, having had them here last year at Twickenham, it gives that added incentive that England haven't won there in a while. So, yeah, a lot to look forward to and uh, took positive steps last weekend. Yes, indeed. Well, Stuart Lancaster said that you've been uh, outstandingly consistent. So uh, with recent changes in the centre, what, what work do you put in to maintain that consistency? I think you just got to nail down the fine detail when everything you do. I think uh, your preparations and uh, what you do in your training week are ultimately what determine happens on the weekend. So I obviously work hard to try and nail those points and uh, work as, as hard as I can for the team and uh, in doing so, uh, constantly look to improve. And the debate all week's been about the centre partnership. Um, what do you see as the main differences between, say, Billy and Manu in terms of playing with them? Oh, it's obviously, for, for me, I'll be playing a, a 13 role as opposed to a 12 role. So uh, it's kind of just a little bit different what I need to do in terms of holding with Thundi, uh, being more of an organiser in terms of how we, we keep our shape and uh, running a bit more of a striker. Um, but yeah, enjoy both roles and uh, equally excited to be playing against the Irish nevertheless. Yes, and it, it seems a lot of people are keen to have you as their midfield general um, in terms of the defence there as well and certainly Brian O'Driscoll will be looking to wreak havoc playing alongside Gordon Darcy I think it's uh, they've already got the record breaking test centre partnership uh, moving to get 49 on Saturday so how do you prepare and defend against a player of, of his sort of calibre? Yeah, both fantastic players and uh, obviously they've had a huge combination together for both Leinster and Ireland so uh, yeah, there's no better way to test yourself and uh, test your combination against two experienced campaigners like that. And uh, yeah, we ultimately respect them, but the way you go about uh, respecting opponents is going out there imposing your game on them. And what do you know about the Irish in terms of them getting behind their side, Dublin bubbling away on a Six Nations weekend? Should be quite an atmosphere. Yeah, it'd obviously be my first time playing in Dublin, one that I'm really looking forward to. But having said that, uh, I think any team in their home ground, if you get that uh, early start, it's obviously hard for an opposing team. So I think it's crucial that we start well, um, impose our game on them in the first 20 and just play with that composure throughout the game and not let the moment get to you. Excellent. Well, we look forward to the game. Best of luck, Brad. Thanks, Sam. Cheers, Matt.